Hi! This is the third part of a four-part tutorial showing how to put a square image into a non-square frame. In the first two parts, we learned ways to work with frames when the images were all a single color, when they weren't but the shape was regular, and how to use the Channels panel to select the inside of the frame when neither of the above were true. This time we're going to take a look at another image where none of the things we learned before are really going to help us. This frame is a collage with a heart embroidery. I want to put a picture of my cat, Purr, into the center portion of the heart here, but it already has birds in it, so we're going to have to get rid of those. If we look at the channels, there's nothing that can help us this time. The birds are obvious in the red, the green, and the blue. So we'll go back to RGB and layers, and we'll approach this in a slightly different way. We're going to get the magic wand tool, make sure that the tolerance is set to 20, that it's anti-aliased and contiguous, and then I'm just going to select the portions of the pink heart here by clicking, holding down the shift key, and clicking the next one get all the parts that border on the frame that we want to go away. And now I'm going to go to Purr, select all with Command A, Control A on a PC, and copy with Command C, Control C on a PC. Go back to the frame, and go up to Edit, Paste Into, like we've done in all of the others. And that puts her in the frame, but she's kind of obscured by the birds, so let's see what we can do to fix that. I'm going to hold down the Option key, that's Alt on the PC, and click on the Mask thumbnail, so that we can see what we've got here. Okay, the parts we don't want are only attached to the rest of the black area by a few pixels here and there. Now since the magic wand will only select those things that are attached by pixels of the same color when it's set to contiguous, all we need to do is break these attachments and we'll be able to get rid of this whole middle section. So, I'm going to zoom back out, go back to the image by clicking on the layer thumbnail, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and the Option key, that Shift-Alt on a PC, and click on the Mask thumbnail so that I can load the mask as an overlay. Since the overlay is red, it's a little confusing in this picture, which is mostly red, so I'm going to double-click on the Mask thumbnail and just change the color by clicking the Color Swatch and picking a new color. Let's go with blue. Click OK, and then click OK again. And now I have a blue mask, which is a little easier to see. I'm going to zoom in. Make sure that my colors are set to black and white by tapping D for the default colors, and then X to switch white and black so that white is a foreground color. I'm going to get the brush, and then we're just going to make these attachments leave by drawing a little bit in here. Some places all we have to do is click, not actually draw. Since there's not much to do here, even if you're not really confident of your drawing skills, you can manage this much. Okay, now all of the attachments are broken, so we're going to click on the layer thumbnail again so that we can lose the overlay, and I'm going to click on the mask thumbnail so that we're using the mask. I'm going to hold down the option key and click so we can see just the mask. And get the magic wand again, and now I'm going to select this area that is outside of what we want because it's all a single piece. So click once to select that, and then go up to Select, Inverse. And now the selection marching ants are around the part that we want to have as a single solid white opening. So all we have to do is hold down the Option key, that's Alt on the PC, and tap Delete or Backspace to fill it with white. And that not only gets rid of the birds, it also gets rid of any of the little marks that were left because it was a piece of cloth to start with. I'm going to zoom out a little so we can see what we've got here. And tap on the layer thumbnail again so that we can see Purr. Drop the selection with Command-D, Control-D on a PC. And there she is. Now because this was a paste into, as always, it made the mask and then it unlinked the mask and the layer. So all you have to do is hold down Command or Control on a PC and tap T and you can resize and adjust the position. If I hold down the Option key and the Shift key, that's Alt Shift on a PC, I can resize her proportionally from the center and then I'll just give her a little tilt so it looks like she's peering out of this frame the way she would peer into a mouse hole. Double click. Not that she's ever seen a mouse hole in her entire life, but hey, she's a cat. And let's zoom in a little closer so we can see what we've got. Well, there's this little rim of pink here that I really don't like. Let's make that go away too. I'm going to hold down the Command key, that's Control on a PC, and I'm going to click on the Mask thumbnail to load it as a selection. Then just go up here to Select, Modify, Expand, and expand it by the pixel. That looks pretty good. 
And then because I want to fill this with white to make it go away, I'm going to click on the mask thumbnail again, and once more hold down Option, that's Alt on a PC, and tap Delete or Backspace to fill that. Drop the selection, and that's pretty good. Let's add a bit of a drop shadow. Go to FX, and we're going to use Inner Shadow because this is the layer on top, and I want it to look like it's actually on the bottom, so we'll put in an Inner Shadow. The defaults look good, just click OK, and there she is her looking out of her little heart frame. Next time we'll see how to frame things when you have layers in the image, which makes it much easier. Until then, this has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.